Fast Flyers update news. Improved connection, bug fixes and the Easter event start time is about to be announced. You're right kids, it's Ross Clark and welcome to your regular art community news. Before we begin, don't forget to hit that like button, subscribe, share around and let's get into it. So to kick it off, Fast Flyers Fast Apocalypse is about to be resolved. Dali, the product manager of Wildcard, finally came back with some feedback on where the flyer speed changes for console are and why they didn't drop with the Chronicles update. Dali goes on to say that, yes, she's aware that she told us the flyer speed changes for unofficial, along with the skiff balance changes, would be included in the next major version update. The skiff balance changes, if you're not aware, is simply going to stop the skiff from boosting whenever it picks up an enemy dino meaning people can't pinch your creatures and race away with them. There were apparently some technical issues with the flyer speed changes, and they decided it was safest to revert until they were confident it wouldn't cause any more issues. So they're working on a solution to make sure this works as intended. Now originally I thought this was going to drop with the Easter event patch, but reading between the lines it appears the skiff balance changes will be coming with the Easter patch but it might just be that, which means the flyer speed changes might not come with the Easter patch. That's how I'm reading it, however, let's keep the faith, they might surprise us, they might drop the hotly anticipated flyer speed changes for console during the Easter patch. And for those that keep asking me if this is going to be available on single player, I am 99% confident it will be. As this patch is already on PC, you can see here there's a tick box within the single player settings to enable it, so I'm pretty sure console players will receive the same deal. And let's hope it falls with the Easter patch, of which I'll get into in just a moment. Your bugs, there was a few of them, I addressed them in yesterday's video, that crafting cryopods are crashing players, but there is a temporary fix that I addressed in my previous video, and we should be seeing this resolved in the Easter update for Xbox, and possibly sooner for PlayStation. The crazy mating cooldown timers that people are experiencing. Again, there's a temporary fix that I addressed in my previous video again, but this one looks to be patched soon. It's already been fixed on PC, and it looks like deployment for console might happen over this weekend. Now a new command line has dropped, which reading between the lines is going to improve connection to your servers. Less crashes, more reliability, performance improvements, as well as patching some potential exploits. I wonder what those exploits are. And although the devs are planning to roll this out pretty soon as a default selection for all unofficial servers, there's a command line that you can pop into your unofficial servers right now. Although the devs do hint that this might be a bit experimental, as they've asked anyone that uses this code, if they run into any new issues, they need to report it through to the devs. And I'll leave a link in the description on where you can do that. The command line is as follows, enable EOS server auth, which I'm assuming you pop into your config, but if I've got that wrong, I will address it in the comments below. Connection issues, especially on console, are simply rife. I admittedly won't stream on my PlayStation right now, and I haven't for months because of how many crashes I'm experiencing, and I simply don't want a stream to crash so there looks to be an opportunity here. But again, bear in mind this seems to be experimental, so proceed using this code with a little bit of caution. And again, definitely feed into the devs if you're experiencing any issues. The more feedback they get, the quicker they can roll this out, and the quicker everybody can have an improved connection experience on unofficial. And finally, the Easter event, the date of when this is going to be dropped is going to be announced tonight. It's usually around midnight UK time, and I'll certainly be covering it all in detail tomorrow. However, if the date's going to be announced tonight, I would be very surprised if this doesn't drop next week. Giving you all of those cool Easter colours, Easter eggs, dino candies, cosmetics, and I'm hoping some good breeding, harvesting, and experience rates. As well, of course, as a few new obligatory chibis. And that about wraps it up. Are you looking forward to the Easter events? Let me know in the comments below. Are you going to use this cool new code that might improve your unofficial performance? My name's Ross Clark. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And as always, peace out.